Hello there, I'm Kim Berry, editor of Food and Drink Business. Welcome to our weekly news roundup. Fonterra is set to acquire a dairy country for just over $19 million. Fonterra already has 23% market share of the uh, retail cheese market, uh, which is currently worth about $2.6 billion. Dairy country is currently owned by the Retail Food Group. Uh, the deal involves its two packaging and processing facilities in uh, Victoria, uh, which have grating, shredding and block cheese capabilities. Fonterra Australia Managing Director Renee de Donka said that the acquisition is about uh, more end-to-end -end control for its cheese products as well as its supply chain. Freedom Food Groups, uh, Freedom, sorry, Freedom Foods Group has told the ASX that it's agreed to a standstill deed with its two main lenders, HSBC and NAB. It's effective until the 30th of November. Uh, the, it's conditional on Freedom Foods meeting certain milestones that it's outlined in its recapitalisation plan. Uh, it, uh, uh, Aravest, which is the majority shareholder, they own 54% of the business and that is the Perrick family. Michael Perrick is currently acting as the interim CEO. Uh, they've also given a guarantee to the banks so that they'll keep uh, some liquidity facilities open to the company. The business unraveled in June, late June when it was revealed that it had up to and potentially more than $60 million of inventory write down and the hasty exit of uh, the then CEO Rory McLeod. The company is also still in a trading halt uh, until October 30. This week seems to be a week for reports and research. Three have come out that we've reported on this week. One from CSIRO, one from the Australian Manufacturing Growth Centre and one from the Australian Beverages Council. In particular, the one from the Australian Manufacturing Growth Centre did a really uh, deep study into the industry, but then also public perceptions of manufacturing. It came out with some really interesting findings. Uh, there's a very strong SME component to Australian manufacturing. And one of the pitfalls of that is the CEO is also the head of marketing and the head of, uh, in, uh, of business planning and every other role within the company. And that there's a real tendency to remain working in the business rather than on the business. As a result, AMGC has developed not, ten, not a 10 point plan, but 10 potential strategies for manufacturers where they can dip into any one of the 10 or more to help really build their business. It was a surprising result that more than 80% of manufacturers did not have a, a, a formal business plan or future financial plan for the company. Uh, another interesting fact that came out of it was that uh, only 5% of manufacturers in Australia produce 95% of our export value. Uh, so as AMGC said, imagine if the rest of that, the, the other 95% of manufacturing in Australia could get more into a growth mindset and build their businesses and take on some of that export capacity as well just what the industry could mean, what the sector could mean for the Australian economy. Uh, with that, a big shout out to Hydroflux as our current sponsor for the weekly news bulletin. Please head to the website foodanddrinkbusiness.com.au for all of the latest news and don't forget to sign up for the newsletter uh, and for our two weekly e-news for everything that's happening in the Australian food and beverage industry. I'm Kim Berry, over and out.